We're here this morning to deploy 10 satellite trackers on black flying foxes here at the Coolum Beach Roost. Uh, this project has been funded out of the Environment Levy and the project is designed to look at whether there's relationships between the roost sites and also where the flying foxes are travelling within our urban areas. This morning we've been working with scientists from the CSIRO to trap flying foxes here at the Coolum Roost. So far this morning we've trapped 20 flying foxes. As you can see behind me, once we've trapped the flying foxes, we put them in pillowcases and hang them in the trees until we're ready to be able to process them and apply the trackers. The satellite trackers weigh nine and a half grams and then a few grams on top of that for the collar that is attached around the flying fox's neck. This is applied whilst the flying foxes are under an anaesthetic and um, at that time we're also able to take measurements, take blood samples and a number of other um, vital pieces of information about the animal's biology. The trackers are actually a solar powered device and the solar panels are orientated so that the flying foxes, whilst hanging upside down, can charge their battery to their solar panel. Because the trackers are so small, they're um, only switched on 10 hours of every 48 hours. That message is sent up to satellites in the sky, which then comes back down to us in a live mapping system so that we can tell exactly where those flying foxes are over that two day period. Once the trackers are attached to the flying fox, we release them back into the roost site and um, they're able to fly off as, as they would naturally. The total weight of the satellite tracker is kept to a minimum so that when the animal takes off, the tracker weight actually makes up less than 5% of their body weight and they can continue to fly. This project has been designed for council to find out a number of things. Number one, where the flying foxes are going in our local region. Number two, whether the roost sites that we have within the region have relationships and where the animals are moving from one to the other. There are a number of other tracking projects that have been underway in Australia for the last few years. Um, it's not new technology, but the important factor in this project is that we're doing it in our local area. And so we're actually going to find out localised results with information that can be applied directly to the way that council manages flying foxes. 